All right, folks, we're back again with this epic fight. He revived the other dude. Oh, great. We're nearly dead here. So apparently Lothric revives the second dude if you kill him. This is like Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. So what I gotta do is um attack his back so I damage both of them in the second phase. Alright. What these guys would be weak to probably dark yeah oh wait I'm not using a uh, weapon that can be buffed never mind Sure, sure, that was legit. All right. Wow, that nearly one-shot me right there. Alright, now I'll use the blessing. So I have 13 flasks left still. Yep, too soon. Cheap move. Snap! I done criticaled him. Treated this guy like one of his own gargoyles.
All right. Nope. I didn't mean to kick. Oh, dear brother. Nope, die. Oh, ouch, that hurt. Get wrecked. Now this is your grave spot, you impudent you little. Remain among the accursed. Accurse this. You got wrecked. Get beat. Come in here with that taunting, it's your grave spot now. And I'll take your bonfire. That was a fun fight though. You know, never once did that fight feel unfair. It felt beatable. And as you just saw, it is. You can beat that fight. You know, the teleporting and stuff, that was hard to track at first, but... and this, But the second form is a lot more fair than I expected it to be, to be honest. Well, I guess now, uh... We gotta put his, uh, soul, his, um, embers onto the freaking throne. The two princes rejected their duty to become Lords of Cinder and settled down far, far away to watch the fire fade from a distance. A curse makes their souls nearly inseparable. Dang, well these two ain't too cool. Then again, I guess they just wanted out of the whole cycle. That is not a cool way to treat your people, though. Just run off like that. All right, we're going to check out um, this old dude here. We're going to talk to him and trade in these souls. Aha, that. Lothric's Holy Sword. Blessed by Emma with potent magic. He was meant to be a champion, expected to wield this platinum sword, but some things will, will remain distant dreams forever. Huh. Dragon Slayer Great Axe. It once formed part of the Dragon Slayer armor, thickly imbued with the power of lightning. Use skill to draw upon the techniques used to slay the arch dragons. Falling Bolt. Nice. High protection to lightning, which the Dragon Slayer commanded as his own, and its skill has faint echoes of his own fighting style. Seventy-four stability, dang. What's mine? Eighty, alright. I'm gonna get the axe and the sword. Wait. Lorien's great sword. Hmm. Cast in smoldering molten steel and stained black. 
Before Lorien embraced his brother's curse, he was a knight who single-handedly slayed the demon prince, but the victor eternally scorched his sword of flame. Huh. Alright, so this one's dex, this one's strength. Since we're strength build, we're going to these two. Ah, most in fact. Alright. Let's level up and then finish things off. Very well, then. We'll use one more of these. Now we'll get one more of this stuff. Farewell, Agni. Alright, we're gonna end this episode here before the epic stuff goes down. Because if this is the end of the game, I'm gonna be discussed the credit at, during the credits and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I don't want it cutting out in the middle of the end. So, stay cool. The end is near.